shipment in from Tiny Machines. Can't wait for this one. This should be my heated bed and my motherboard up here. Let's take a look at this. My trusty kitchen knife. Okay. So let's see. This is what we got. So this should be the Canovo heated bed. Dual zone heated bed upgrade for the CR10 S5. We don't want to go over the price. And I should have a motherboard. Flash with Marlin 1.1 for my S5. So this looks like the motherboard. Neatly packed. Let's get this open. I think it's the motherboard. It's got my kitchen knife there. Yep, it's a motherboard. So this is the motherboard. We got plenty of stack there to replace it. I don't really fool around with touching it, but this is the motherboard that's pre-flashed and has a bootloader now, so I should be able to load stuff right from USB. My SD card reader, USB. So this is the, let's read this, Creality CR Series Motherboard Bootloader Flashed with Marlin 1.1 S5. Okay, so this is the motherboard. Let's put it back in the... Put it over to the side. So we have a Canevo handbook here. Thermal part of your success. User manual, shows you how to do things. Digital control manual, because it comes with a little digital control. Just some instructions, but we don't want to see that right now. Okay, so this looks like the digital control. So this is our digital control. I guess I'll leave it in the case for the Canevo. It's totally separate from the S5. This is going to run independently. So in the firmware, I'm not sure if they shut it off for me. I think I emailed the guy. Uh, either he shut it off for me or I should have to turn it off in the firmware. So this heat bed will now be independent and actually be the right size. Let's take this bad boy out without trying to make a mess. So from what I was told, yep. So this comes pre-drilled. The 3M stick, adhesive tape on the back, comes pre-drilled with the four holes for the S5. As you guys know, S5 is a 500 millimeter by 500 millimeter build space. So that's a pretty big heat bed. So this is just a quick unboxing of what I got in. I'll try to take some time lapse or some video. I mean, installing the new Kinevo 120 volt, 1300 watt heat bed with digital controller. I'm not acting steady, so I must be ready. No.
finish my install. So this is my heated bed. It's set at 65. It seems to fluctuate. It heats up like instantly. It's ridiculous. So this little switch in the back, this heat bed has two zones. So basically I only have the middle zone turned, turned up. I'm printing my first battery. Uh, I'm using the same G code I always used, but it seems like it's moving much faster. I don't know if it has something to do with the firmware or not. But uh, I like it so far. It's coming out good. I don't have any hairspray or anything, just heat and glass. So I just did a quick test to see how that turns out. It seems to be sticking well. So, uh, yeah. So this is the Canovo heated bed on the underside of it. Try to get a shot of it. Five hundred by five hundred. This is the controller. And this is my new firmware. So if you notice, there's no bed temperature because it is controlled, it's turned off in the firmware and it's controlled by this external unit. So it heats up mighty fast. I mean like 15 seconds and I'm at 65 degrees Celsius. It's crazy. So I'm liking that aspect of it. Firmware's really, really smooth. A lot more options. You can change your filament now. You can pause during print. I'll go over some more details after this benchy, so. New firmware, motherboard. Kinevo external controller, heat bed. Obviously the dual fan mod. This is how it looks in the back. I wish they gave you a longer cord, but it's pretty short. So I had to basically, thank God I bought one of these on Amazon. I'll actually give you the link to the description. It's pretty good. You can, if for those of you who film and stuff like that, you can actually, you know, plug in your camera and stuff right to this. It's very handy if you have to solder something on the table. So I use that. I'm gonna probably order another one for my other for the other side because this was originally on the other side next to my Prusa and my soldering station and stuff. But anyway, so here's the install. CR10 S5 upgraded heated bed. Have a good one guys. <laughs>